What inspired me to come to New York was, one day I was drunk, me and my friend, and we sat down in the parking lot, we Googled best place for young people to live. And it was LA, but New York was way more affordable than LA was at the time. Uh, that was in uh, 2009, 2010. And, and yeah, and then three weeks later, back to your truck and I came here. So I actually sort of didn't really plan to come to New York. Uh, but once I ended up here, um, you know, I quickly figured out you had to have a plan of some kind of thing. I figured I'd do the retail thing, I would go to film school, um, because I was really in interested in film at the time, and then I would, you know, go from there, you know, the sky's the limit. New York film students becomes New York filmmaker, um, goes on to, you know, win awards, do TV shows, do movies, and, uh, you know, it all flows from there. Um, so I would say I'm yeah, moving to New York trying to achieve my dreams. Um, I didn't really factor in how I think I found it a little difficult to adjust to New York City um, because there's just so much going on. It's a really expensive city as well and then just I think everything takes a little bit more time and moving to New York trying to achieve my dreams it noticed there was a slow in that. It slowed, slowed the process down a bit. I came here with a menu and two grand in my pocket, and I thought it'd be enough to rent a food truck. How naive. First thing I did the, f the very first day was look up how much it costs to rent. I, it never occurred to me to actually do a research or a business plan before I came here. And I realized you need $40,000 down payment. You need to get a, a license. It's not very easy to do, so you got to rent it from someone who's a veteran somewhere. So yeah, there goes that pipe dream. I've been in the city now for about nine, ten years, maybe. Um, I don't regret it, even though there's been ups and downs uh, all over the place. You know, I've had, I've had some of the best days of my life here, and I've had some of the worst days, um, days where I thought I might even, you know, kill myself. But uh, the city is here to help, help you determine who you are but it's not gonna tell you. Like, you still have to figure that out for yourself. It just sharpens everything into focus. I think I'm happy to be in New York City. That's like a lot you can achieve here. And really the resources are pretty unparalleled to anywhere else. So um, overall, I feel, I feel good. But then looking deeper into it, I think um, it is challenging. And I would like to figure out a way to speed it up, but I haven't really done that yet. I still have the menus, I still have everything. I, I, even, I even completed a business plan for it. And by the time I was ready to do something and invest financially, you know, I, I had worked my way up in the hotel world, I was doing revenue management. I was more financially savvy where a food truck just didn't make any sense anymore. Where I am right now is not really where I thought I would end up. I guess I had the same vision and plan that most people have, um, besides the career, you know, get married, have kids, um, maybe, maybe move back to Jersey or upstate, but none of that really happens for me. Yeah, I've come here, I had a dream, uh, I may have not realized it, but I've realized enough where Today, looking back on my life, I feel like it's, it, it was a success.